it's just an awesome feeling to be on stage in front of thousands of people or to a handful. It just turns me on, you know, a red light goes on and, and um, the entertainment comes out. So I, I was born to, to entertain in one aspect or another. My dad didn't want me uh, to just sit around and play music, so he says, you gotta get a job. So I decided to enlist into the military. I served uh, four years in the Air Force. And when I came uh, out of the service, I was stationed right back home in Dayton, Ohio. So I was able to hook back up with my high school band, which eventually we uh, landed a record deal and the rest is history. During my, my time with my first group, which was Faso, uh, we had a big hit called Riding High. After 10 years uh, playing with Faso, uh, I hooked up with the group Heatway, which had you know, the big hit All Waiting Forever, Boogie Nights, and Groove Line. I played four years with Heatwave, and then after Heatwave, I hooked up with the band, the Daz Band. I would commute back and forth from Dayton to Cleveland. I still didn't leave my hometown. Uh, and during my tenure with the Daz Band, uh, we won a Grammy Award for the song Let It Whip. I chose to stay in Dayton uh, because I wanted to make an impact in my hometown, whether it was in music or whatever I would be doing in the community. I was able to get underserved children in soapbox racing. Uh, myself and, and uh, Reverend Leon Wilkinson put together the first housing choir. We won two national housing awards for the choir. Uh, myself, Bill, and Marlon Shackford, we started a program called Men of Standard. Uh, this was for men who had been incarcerated when they came out. We were able to connect them with their children and uh, help them get back on the right road. And that program is still going today. All these things hopefully will, will be able to touch other people to hopefully uh, instill in them that you can make it. A dream can become a reality. You just got to put a lot of hard work into it. And that's the key. You have to put hard work into it in anything you do in life. My father instilled that. And he was right. And I still feel I haven't made it to the point that I want to be at. Because God's not finished with me. Still got work to do.